In the modern era, the important next step is to recognize that today governments control the quantity of money so that as a result inflation in the United States is made in Washington and nowhere else. Of course, no government any more than any one of us likes to take responsibility for bad things. We're all of us human. If something bad happens it wasn't our fault. And the government is the same way. So it doesn't accept responsibility for inflation. If you listen to people in Washington talk, they will tell you that inflation is produced by greedy businessmen, or it's produced by grasping unions, or it's produced by spendthrift consumers, or maybe it's those terrible Arab sheiks who are producing it. Now, of course, businessmen are greedy. Who of us isn't? Trade unions are grasping. Who of us isn't? And there's no doubt that the consumer is a spendthrift. At least every man knows that about his wife. But none of them produce inflation for the very simple reason that neither the businessman, nor the trade union, nor the housewife has a printing press in their basement on which they can turn out those green pieces of paper we call money. Only Washington has that printing press, and therefore only Washington can produce inflation. 